starting with the features of the dry lock series is what we want to do is maximize warmth, flexibility, and durability. And by doing so, it's a combination of all these features that we put into the suit. Starting with the neckline is you have a 100% waterproof zipper. Unlike any other wetsuit in the marketplace is that 100% waterproof zipper is gonna lock any water from potentially getting into the neckline. What's nice is it's got the slant zip and it's sewn down on one side. And as you unzip it, you can really see how nice and easy it is to open it up and get into it. And that way you have the adjustability to adjust the open side from the zipper. So as you zip up the closure, you can adjust with the micro adjustment on the left side. As far as the collar goes, you have the smooth skin collar and the double crossover neck entry. What's nice about the double crossover entry is the fact that it allows you to get in the suit with about an inch more opening than the previous generation and then you can just flip it inside out like a pair of pants to put on. So now you got an easy access. No is a exterior material, it's called quick dry fiber. Here on the, you can see the label there. And what that does is it's gonna pull all the water moisture away from the suit. So it's gonna drain out real nicely. It'll give you less wind shear when you're sitting in the lineup and it'll also dry out for your next session a lot faster. As you open it up, you get the double crossover neck. And so that's nice because it takes all the stress off the collar. And then you get into the air preen, which is gonna be in the chest and the front and the back. So that's gonna give you maximum warmth. Another unique feature of the dry lock system is the dry cuff. This dry cuff is a donut seal. So what's nice about it is there's no seam. It's a continued donut here. And what's nice is it really sucks over your wrist really nicely so you don't have any flushing up the wrist area. Also in the ankle, we use what we call a Titex, which is a geometric uh, design. And what's nice about that is it allows you to get your foot through the leg area, but doesn't let water flush up to flush you when you're surfing. Here's the internal view of the dry lock system. And as you can see, you got the smooth skin collar, which is gonna lock all water out coming in through the neckline, which is a nice simple design there. You got the double crossover entry, so it takes all the stress away from the collar area and makes it very easy to access in and out of. You got your extend material on the upper body, so that's gonna give you maximum stretch, so less resistant in the water, because this is 100% stretch throughout. Also what we have here is your blue fusion seam. What's nice about this is this is pressure bonded to the suit. It's a closed cell foam and it stretches with the seam and you can see how it really locks any potential water out of your suit. As far as the thermocarbon, that's where you get this nice heavy pile here that's going to give you more heat retention. Again, it's a two-part fiber that's going to be PET, which is recycled bottles, along with the, um, the carbonized bamboo. And you get down to the lower half of the suit, you get into the um, wider pressure bonded tape. And we do the wider in the crotch area, so that way as you're sitting on your board, it takes less stress off your seams. And then you get your geometric um, ankle seal. And that's going to lock all the water out from coming up your ankle. Mm -hmm.